And I find that for Ms. Lewis to say that we promised that we would have gotten rid of impacts within six months is really, really stretching it. And I think that she should withdraw that statement. Minister for Home Affairs, Senator Herman Gill Francis, has responded to the SLP's request for clarification on the status of the impacts probe. Communications officer Mondi Lewis recently chronicled the timeline of events of Operation Restore Confidence conducted by the police in 2010-2011 during the UWP administration, which resulted in the deaths of 12 individuals. The subsequent impacts probe was launched in 2014 by an SLP government after the U.S. withdrew security assistance to the RSLPF, citing concerns over possible human rights violations stemming from the 2010-2011 crackdown on crime. Now, Senator Francis is once again offering his take on the events. And we know what Dr. Anthony did. Dr. Andy came to the public and showed a list and said that was a hit list. Um, after he won the elections in 2011, he repeated that story in the House of Assembly by advertising the list and saying, data was, I was correct, this is the list of um, the hit list of the police. Uh, um, and so we have to understand that in 2011, after two years into the reign of the St. Lucia Labour Party, the Leahy law came in. So Leahy Law was not imposed during the time of the United Workers' Party. Almost a decade has elapsed and the ORC impacts impasse continues with a sword of Democles hanging over the heads of implicated officers and the RSLPF short on U.S. support. Now, key political players are relitigating the past as the island heads into another election cycle. As expected, Francis blames former Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony for the fallout. And that is what Dr. Anthony had to do. He's a lawyer. He's one of the best constitutional lawyers in St. Lucia. So he knew for a fact that when the persons came from Inbox and they had given him the report, if he recognized there was other evidence, then he should have had his Attorney General to reopen the inquest. And that is what he should have done. But he didn't do that. Dr. Anthony took that report and read it. He read it and accused the police of all sorts of atrocities. He actually said, and I quote, that every incident was planned and all the firearms that were found at those, at those scenes were planted. I mean, that is dumbing information. Senator Francis accused the ex-Prime Minister of railroading the police for political gain, repeating the assertion that the impacts report hinges on the upcoming general elections, despite promises by the UWP during the previous 2016 election cycle to bring finality to the matter. Dr. Antony is the one who badly handled this, 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 this report and everything he is the one that must be held responsible. And St. Lucians must light the fire and, and have him to kind of explain himself. Senator Francis says talks with U.S. officials are ongoing to hopefully resolve the outstanding matter that remains a stain on local law enforcement. The National Security Minister is seeking to unseat Dr. Kenny Anthony as Viewfort South MP when St. Lucian's head to the polls this year. The back and forth between the two continues to intensify with Dr. Anthony releasing a blistering statement on Tuesday on Francis's perceived shortcomings as a one-time potential SLP candidate. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.